The Dassault Rafale is a French twin-engine, canard delta-wing, multi-role fighter aircraft designed and built by Dassault Aviation. Equipped with a wide range of weapons, the Rafale is intended for performing air supremacy, aerial reconnaissance, interdiction, ground support, anti-ship strike, in-depth strike, and nuclear deterrence missions. Want to know more? Hey guys, welcome to our channel Military Planes, where we tell you about warplanes from the currently famous in the air to the most advanced around the world. So stay with us until the end of this video so you don't miss out on any of this information. But before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell symbol so that you don't miss out on any of our wonderful videos in the future. And let's get started. In the late 1970s, the French Navy and French Air Force were seeking to replace and consolidate their current fleets of aircraft. Subsequent disagreements over work share and differing requirements led to France's pursuit of its own development program. Dassault built a technology demonstrator which first flew in July 1986 as part of an eight-year flight test program, paving the way for go-ahead of the project. The Rafale is distinct from other European fighters of its era in that it is almost entirely built and developed by one country, involving most of France's major defense contractors such as Thale, Dassault, and Safran. Many of the aircraft's avionics and features such as direct voice input, the Optronic Sector Frontal Infrared Search, and track sensor, and the RBE-2AA active electronically scanned array radar were domestically developed for the Rafale program. It was scheduled to enter service in 1996, but the Rafale suffered significant delays due to the post-Cold War budget cuts and changes in priorities. The aircraft is available in three main variants, Rafale B twin-seat land-based version, Rafale C single-seat land-based version, and Rafale M single-seat carrier-based version came to know in 2001 that the Rafale is being produced for both French Air Force and for carrier-based operations in the French Navy. The Rafale was marketed for export to several countries and was selected for purchase by the Egyptian Air Force, Qatar Air Force, Indian Air Force, Hellenic Air Force, Croatian Air Force, the Indonesian Air Force, and United Arab Emirates Air Force. The Rafale has been used in combat over Afghanistan, Iraq, Mali, and Syria. The France government proceeded with its own program. The French Ministry of Defense required an aircraft that is capable of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground all day and also adverse weather operations. Unlike other contemporary European fighter projects that required some level of international collaboration and cost-sharing, France was the sole developer of Rafale's airframe, propulsion system, avionics, and armament, and as such the aircraft was to replace a multitude of aircraft in the French armed forces. The Rafale would perform roles previously filled by an assortment of specialized platforms, including the Mirage F1C CRCT, Jaguar, Mirage 2000C-5N in the French Air Force, and the F-8P Crusader, Entenard IVPM, and Super Entendard in French naval aviation. From October to December 1978, prior to France's joining of ECA, Dassault received contracts for the development of Project Act 92. The following year, the National Office for Aviation Studies and Research began studying the possible configurations of new fighters under the codename. By March 1980, a number of configurations had been narrowed down to four, two of which had a combination of delta wings, canards, and a single vertical tail fin. In October 1982, the French Ministry of Defense announced that Dassault would build a technology demonstrator named Avion de Combat Experimental. France wanted to collaborate with West Germany and UK on the project but was prepared to build ACX by itself. Then in 1984, the government decided to proceed with a combat variant of the ACX due to the conflicting technical criteria of the respective FIFA participant nations. The resultant Rafale A technology demonstrator was a large delta-winged fighter with all the moving canards embodying a fly-by-wire flight control system. Construction of demonstrators commenced in March 1984, even before a contract was signed with DGA, France's Defense Procurement Agency. This technology demonstrator was rolled out in December 1985 in St. Cloud and took its maiden flight on 4 July 1986 from istres le tube Air Base in southern France. During a one-hour flight, the project's chief test pilot Guy Mito Maroud took the aircraft to an altitude of 11,000 meters and a speed of Mach 1.3. The 9.5-ton demonstrator topped at 300 meters upon landing. Throughout the whole flight test program, the Rafale A performed numerous day and night takeoffs and landings aboard carriers Clemenceau and Folk to investigate the pilot's field of view during carrier operations. It reached a speed of Mach 2 and a height of 13,000 meters. The demonstrator was initially powered by General Electric F404 GE400 
after burning turbofans from FA-18 Hornet instead of Snecma M88 to reduce the risk that often comes with a first flight and since M88 was not considered sufficiently mature for the initial trials program. It was not until May 1990 when M88 replaced the port F404 in the demonstrator to enable the aircraft to reach Mach 1.4 and demonstrate supercruise or sustained supersonic flight without the use of the afterburners. After 866 flights with four pilots, the Rafale A retired in January 1994. At the time of Rafale A's maiden flight, France entered unsuccessful talks with Denmark, Belgium, Norway and the Netherlands about a possible collaboration on Rafale as a multinational project at that time. Belgium was reportedly interested in Rafale B. In 1987 June, Prime Minister Jacques Chirac declared that the country would proceed with $30 billion projects. Subsequently, on 21 April 1988, the French government awarded Dassault a contract for four Rafale prototypes, one Rafale C, one Rafale B, and two Rafale M's. The first out of an expected 330 Rafales was scheduled to enter the service in 1996. The fall of the Berlin Wall, which signaled the end of the Cold War, as well as the need to reduce the national deficit, compelled the French government to drastically reduce its defense budget. The 1994 budget for the Rafale program was cut by $340 million. This reduced the size of Rafale orders, which Dassault and other companies involved claimed impeded production management and led to higher costs, and delayed the entry of aircraft into service. French Air Force was reorganized, Mirage 5F was completely phased out, and a total of 55 Mirage F1Cs were upgraded to a tactical fighter configuration, redesignated as the Mirage F1CT. The budget cuts prolonged Rafale's development considerably. During Rafale A flight test program, the French government 1989 looked at the F-18 Hornet as a potential replacement for the rapidly aging F-8 Crusader, which had been serving since the 1950s. The French Navy entered the purchase of second-hand F-A-18s with Australia, Canada, and the U.S. after the decision was made not to upgrade Crusaders. The U.S. Navy agreed to supply two F-A-18s to French Navy for interoperability testing aboard the French aircraft carrier Folk. The French government did not proceed with the purchase of a twin-engine fighter. To meet various roles expected of the new aircraft, the Air Force required two variants, single-seat Rafale C and the Rafale B. The C01 differed slightly from the Rafale A. Although superficially identical to the technology demonstrator, it was smaller and more stealthy due to the gold-coated canopy, redesign of the fuselage fin joint, and addition of radar-absorbent materials. This aircraft also saw the extensive application of the composite and other materials, which both reduced radar cross-section and weight. Dassault opted to reject variable engine inlets and dedicated air brakes, which lessens maintenance loads and saves weight. It was 350 kilograms heavier than the single-seater, but carried 400 liters less fuel. The aircraft was used to test weapon systems. Later, it was tasked with validating weapon separation and specifically the carriage of heavy loads. The aircraft's typical loadout consisted of two 2,000-liter external tanks, two Apache Scalp cruise missiles, in addition to four air-to-air -air missiles. The Navy sought a carrier-based aircraft to supersede its fleet of aging Etendard 4 M's and P's, the F-8P Crusaders, and Super Etendard Modernizes. When the Navy initially modernized the Crusaders in the long term, the requirement was met with the Rafale M. M01 is the naval prototype, which was flown first on 12 December 1991, followed by the second on 8 November 1993. Since France had no land-based catapult test facility, catapult trials were initially carried out between July and August 1992 and early the following year at NAS Lakehurst in New Jersey. The aircraft then carried out trials aboard aircraft Falk in April 1993. And that's it for today, guys. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and family. If you have questions or comments, please share them with us in the comment space below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see even more of our incredible videos. You can also check out our other videos that have been specially selected for you. We'll catch up in the next video. We'll